We had, we had another question here, and this is a, a fascinating question. We're going to move from whites to reds in a second. But somebody asked, um, does anybody grow grapes on pergola anymore? Because pergola, of course, has been a very traditional trellising style. I don't really have any pictures. Well, I do have pictures. This shows the top of pergola trellises. You can see the X's. This is just to the north of the cantina here in Truman. So why don't we just go through the line and does anybody still have pergola and do you yeah. like pergola for some grapes and don't like it for other grapes? We'll start with Andy this time to go this way. We, we still have pergola but uh, they are disappearing from year to year so uh, we have for example uh, the Lagrine vineyard is in pergola and uh, we mainly produce uh, Pinot Nero and uh, from Pinot Nero we have just one uh, pergola vineyard left, the rest is Guyot. I think that new plantings are all on Guyot. The only variety was the Schiava, the typical easy drinking red wine, which till now was more, you can say, always on pergola, but I think even there now it will change to Guyot. It's first of all healthier for the grapes and easier to work. We talked about it today, and um, my opinion is that for the Schiava, I think it's it's okay, but like Wolfgang said, um, for the work, it's easier to put it on Guyot, but I think the Schiava, there's a, still a lot of Schiava on Pergola. I showed you the Pinot Noir vineyard today, that we still have one on Pergola, and for the Pinot Noir, it's not the best system to work on Pergola, so we try to slowly replant everything on Guyot, which is Pinot Noir and Pinot Grigio and all the lower yielding uh, varieties. For the Lagrain, it's, in my opinion, it's a discussion which can be more... Most of the new vineyards are planted with Guyot, but maybe on the Lagrain it could be even okay for a pergola. For a pergola, it's still good to go on. But of course, this is depends then on the working and on everything. Of course, of course. Well, uh, since the last 20 years, since I'm um, in charge of our winery, uh, from our 50 hectares, I replanted uh, 48. When I got it uh, uh, handed over, it was 100% pergola. Now we have only 10%, uh, which is the scava on pergola. Everything else uh, is a uh, uh, Guyot system. So for scava, do you think it's... Okay, I mean, you would replant it's, it, but... It is okay, because Schiava is very, uh, gets very easy sunburned, oh. so, and, and also has bigger uh, grapes, so they, they are quite good uh, under the shade of the pergola, but I also had uh, uh, Schiava on the uh, Guyot system, and it works also well. It's only our tradition. Yeah. Yeah. We have to convert. Yeah. Well, it, that's, the most, yeah. that's right. I think it's good to keep a little bit of paragola for tradition. Sure. Um, you know, it's always... It's, it looks uh, good. <laughs> it looks good. It looks yeah. good. I mean, now you look at the valley floor and we discussed this, all the apple trees, yeah. they look terrible. They used yeah. to be big, old, beautiful yeah. trees and you look down and it was a forest of apple trees. So there's a little bit, you know, tourism is important too. 